I also was like losing my mind because it was like that's Ron Stoppables in my like my inbox or whatever. Like that's pretty crazy. Mm -hmm. I have a favorite episode. It's the one where there's this little um, bug thing and it <laughs> gets attached to the back of Kim and Chico's neck. And there's this modulator, which is this um, remote thing that controls your emotions. So you can like click the buttons and it gets into the wrong hands. And so it's really funny. Their like emotions are controlled by this little remote. And so there's like Kim like falls in love with Ron for a second. Then she gets mad and then she's sad and then she's in love. And it's really a funny episode and one of my favorites. I have no idea, but I know we can stop him. Unless he gets away again. KP, are you feeling okay? Why? What do you mean by that? I knew the responsibility that whoever got this role would be taking on. And yeah, so when I <laughs> booked the role, I was like, oh my gosh. After a couple seasons into the Kim Possible run, I kind of jumped on board after I got a, a toy of Ron Stoppable. And so then I started really liking the series. So then by the time I got the audition for Ron Stoppable, I already had an idea of like what I should do in the audition, but I also was like losing my mind because it was like, that's Ron Stoppable's in my like, my inbox or whatever. Like that's pretty crazy. And, and then once I found out that I got the role, it was like a big celebration at the Gambroni household. Oh yeah, I'm feeling it. Impossible was actually my first in-person audition in LA that I ever did. Um, so I was very new to the acting world and the industry, so I was figuring everything out and it was such a learning process for me. And so that being my first big role was just unbelievable to me. <laughs> I was just beyond excited.